Within the first month of the Endurance 2 mission, it became obvious that the additional crew and operations aboard the station demanded additional power, as the combination of fuel cells and solar panels was not sufficient for a six-person crew. The mole needed more power. Air Force engineers quickly designed a solution. The next Hebe launch would contain a series of three-foot girders and four newly designed solar panels that would be assembled in orbit and attached to the station by the crew on a spacewalk. On July 15, 1972, a Hebe, codenamed the SS Rickenbacker, after the famous American World War I ace, launched from Vandenberg with the new power system, dubbed the Zenith Integrated Power System, or ZIPS, in its pressurized cabin. After a six-hour orbit, the SS Rickenbacker slowly approached the mole and docked to the exposed forward mole using the ADS. On August 1st, 1972, the first dual spacewalk of the program started when a pair of spacewalkers climbed out of the cockpit of the Big Gemini and moved to the top, or zenith, of the HAB module. The pair then began assembling the girders, creating a nine foot tall assembly above the station. After six hours, the crew climbed back into the Gemini cockpit. The next day, a second spacewalk, conducted by a different pair of astronauts, 
saw the installation of the four large solar panels to the top of the assembly. Once installed, the crew connected cables to the other set of panels on the ROM, and ground control signaled the panels to unfurl. A week later, the SS Rickenbacker undocked from the station, deorbited, and burnt up over the Pacific Ocean. Three days later, on August 13, 1972, the second Hebe launch for the Endurance 2 mission, the SS Richard Bong, launched from Vandenberg. After three hours, the SS Bong docked to the forward MoMA without issue, and the crew was cleared for the full six month duration. Air Force Command had decided to maintain full occupancy of the station, and so the crew would be met by the Endurance 3 crew, who would again break records for time in orbit. Six months. 